after 50, your body starts losing up to 1% of muscle every year. And that's linked to weakness, falls, and a loss of independence. One of the most well-researched supplements in the world, creatine, may help slow this decline. It's not a steroid, and it's been studied for decades in healthy adults. And the kicker is the benefits may actually get larger as we age. I'm Dr. John Go, an eye surgeon who lost 75 pounds and kept it off. I help busy professionals protect their health and strength. In this video, I'll break down what creatine is, what the science says about aging, and what you should know before starting. And yes, I'll cover safety and side effects later in the video so you get the full picture. Remember, this is for education only, not medical advice. Always talk with your own doctor before starting creatine or any supplement. Let's get into it. Here's the surprising part. Creatine isn't just about muscle anymore. Clinical trials are looking at brain health, heart health, and even mood. After 50, your risk of muscle loss, memory decline, and slower recovery naturally increases, but creatine may help slow these changes when combined with training. First, let's clear up what creatine really is. Creatine is not a steroid. Your body makes it naturally, and it's stored in your muscles and brain where it helps recycle energy. The supplement most people use is called creatine monohydrate. It's affordable, safe for most healthy adults, and is actually one of the most researched supplements in the world. Think of creatine like a backup battery for your cells. It helps recharge the energy you need so that your muscles and your brain keep performing. As we get older, this becomes even more important. Starting in your 40s, muscle loss, what doctors call sarcopenia, starts to speed up. It's one of the main reasons people feel weaker, lose independence, and face higher fall risk as they age. The good news is research shows adults in their 50s, 60s, and even 70s who combine creatine with resistance training preserve more lean muscle and strength compared to just training alone. This isn't about bodybuilding or vanity. It's about keeping the ability to move, lift, and stay active as the years go on. And the story doesn't stop at muscle. Creatine may also benefit the brain. Recent meta-analyses show moderate improvements in memory and processing speed, especially in adults who don't eat much red meat or fish, like vegetarians or vegans. In the heart, Patients with heart failure often have lower creatine levels in their heart muscle. Supplementation has been shown to improve exercise tolerance, helping them recover faster. These findings are promising but not fully proven. There are also signs that creatine may help support mood and resilience under stress. Researchers are studying its role in conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and even recovery from brain injury. That research is still young, but it is promising. Now, let's talk about safety, because this is where most people get confused. For most healthy adults, creatine is considered safe, but it can affect lab work. Creatine is broken down into creatinine, which is a marker doctors use to check kidney function. That means your lab numbers might look abnormal even if your kidneys are fine. In these cases, another marker called cystatin C is more reliable because it's not affected by creatine. If you have kidney, liver, heart, or other medical conditions, or take medications like ibuprofen, diuretics, or others, consult your doctor first, as creatine may interact with certain drugs or conditions. Common side effects are mild, like water weight gain, stomach upset if you take too much, or cramping if you're dehydrated. Stay hydrated and talk to your doctor before starting. So what does this mean for you? Creatine isn't magic. It won't work if you're sitting on the couch. It only works if you're also strength training. The people who benefit most are adults over 40 who lift weights, vegetarians or vegans who get little creatine from their diet, and anyone losing fat who wants to protect muscle while dieting. The dose is simple. Three to five grams a day is sufficient for most healthy individuals. No need for a loading phase or cycling. Some researchers have tested much higher doses like 20 to 35 grams at once for fast cognitive boosts in stressed brains during sleep loss or Alzheimer's. That can raise brain creatine and improve focus, memory, and processing speed, but it's experimental and may strain your kidneys, so stick with 3 to 5 grams unless under medical supervision. Creatine isn't a miracle pill, but it is one of the safest and most effective supplements we have for protecting muscle and strength as we age. The bigger lesson here is simple. Protecting your energy systems protects your independence as you get older. Whether you're in your 40s, 50s, or beyond, it's worth asking your doctor if it's right for you. And if you want to see how I personally train and use science-backed strategies to build and maintain muscle while working full-time as a surgeon, tap this next video. It could change the way you think about weightlifting. Peace. Come here. Say hello to dim sum. <laughs>